Hey everyone, here is our math problem for today. Find the value of x. x is an element of the set of complex numbers. Given this equation, x raised to the fifth is equal to 8 raised to x. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this exponential equation. Now let's solve this problem together. This equation looks simple, but the solution for this is more complex than one might expect. That is because one way to solve this problem is to use another tool which we call as the Lambert W function. In order to have an idea of what is this Lambert W function, let's begin with something that's already familiar with us. Let's say we have 8 raised to x is equal to 12. We know that in order to solve for this, since we have here an exponential 8 raised to x, we get the inverse of raising to exponent, which is getting the logarithm. So x is equal to the logarithm of 12 to the base 8. Now, this right side here is just a constant. This log is a function, and when you input 12 to a logarithm to the base 8, it will return a number. And in this case, using Wolfram Alpha, the log of 12 to the base 8 gives us a value of approximately equal to 1.195. Now, connecting with our problem today, when we have this form x times e raised to x equals 5, in order to find the value of x here, we are going to use another tool or another function, and that function now is the Lambert W function. So we take the Lambert W of both sides, and this Lambert W has a property that when you have this form, any number times e raised to the same number as the first one, this will simplify to simply x. And so the left side is now simplified. The right side, Lambert W of 5, is just a constant that we can compute using a calculator like Wolfram Alpha. So this right side here is also another constant, which is now the value of x. And if you are going to input this Lambert W of 5, it will return this result, approximately 1.3267. So let's have a quick review of what is this Lambert W. Let's begin with the function y is equal to x times e raised to x. The graph of this is this left curve. Now, its domain is from negative infinity up to positive infinity, and its range is from this point here, which is negative 1 over e, then going to positive infinity. At this point, x is equal to negative 1. So if x is negative 1, this becomes negative 1 times e raised to negative 1, which is negative 1 over e. Now, if you want to solve for x, given this equation, we need to find the inverse of this function. In the graph of the inverse of the function is symmetric to the original function with respect to the line y equals x. So this is the line y equals x. This red curve is symmetric to the blue curve. And the equation of this red curve is achieved by solving for x here and then interchanging the variable x and y. It so happens that the inverse of this function is also the converse of that function. In other words, we just interchange the x and the y, the mother in the child of the function. So this is indeed a special kind of function. So this red curve now is the graph of x equals y times e raised to y. And this red curve now is what we call as the Lambert W. Now, there are some technicalities here because the domain of this red curve is the range of the original function and its range is the domain of the other function. Their domains are not the same and therefore, we need to limit the domain in order for the inverse to exist. Also, the red curve is just a relation because using the vertical line test, there is a point here where the vertical line test will fail. Now, if you want to solve for x now, if you have this equation, we now say that x is equal to the Lambert W of y. And so that is our intuition of the Lambert W function. So formally, we now say that if we have a function f of w equals w e raised to w, where w is a complex number, the Lambert W sub k of z, where c is a complex number. What does this mean? Let's go back to the graph. The Lambert W curve is this lower curve. Notice that if we limit the range 1 for y is greater than or equal to negative 1, then we have a function because this blue curve will pass the vertical line test. We now call this as the principal branch of the Lambert 
W function. On the other hand, if the range is for y less than negative 1, we have this orange curve, which is also another function. But we said that the input to the Lambert W could be any number. It could be complex number. When the input is less than negative 1 over e, that means going this part, the output that we will get is no longer a real number. We'll get a complex number. So we need to be mindful of this number. Any input that is lesser than this would result to an imaginary number. Whereas any input that is equal to or greater than this would result to a real result. And in both cases, we are getting complex number because the real number is just a subset of the set of complex numbers. So this part now is also another branch and we denote this as w sub negative sub 1 of x. In general, we write this as the Lambert w sub k of x, where k refers to the specific branch. Now, going back to our problem, let's simplify this. Let's take the natural logarithm of both sides. Then from the properties of logarithm, we can put this 5 at the front and multiply the same thing here. So the result now is 5 times ln x equals x times ln of 8. Then we want to isolate x in one side of the equation, and we can achieve that by dividing both sides by 5x and simplifying. So we have the variable x at the left, we have constant at the right side. Now the problem is we have x here and we have another x here. So let's put this denominator x to the numerator by raising it to negative 1, and here is the result. We have x raised to negative 1, we have x here, we don't have the e, and the sign of their exponents are still different. So let's do some more algebraic manipulation. Now let's note that if you have x raised to negative 1, that is just the same as e raised to ln of x raised to negative 1, because e and ln will cancel each other out, thereby resulting to x minus 1, which is this left part. That means this green x raised to negative 1 can be replaced by the right side of this equation, and this is now what we got. We want this form x times e raised to x. So we want this ln to be placed at the front. And so let's do that. We now have ln of x times e raised to ln of x raised to negative 1. We still have this little problem here because the exponent of x here is positive 1. So how can we make the exponents the same? Well, we can multiply both sides of this equation by negative 1. And noting that one property of logarithm is if you have this factor here that can be written back as an exponent to this variable x. And that becomes ln of x raised to negative 1 times e raised to ln of x raised to negative 1, which is exactly now the form that we want. And therefore, we can now apply the Lambert w function here. We take the Lambert w of the left side, we take also the Lambert w of the right side. And this left side is exactly the same as this form. So this is just the exponent ln of x raised to negative 1. And the right side is just a constant. So we want to solve for x. So let's continue simplifying. We take the exponential of both sides so that we can eliminate the ln. And here is now the result. E and ln will cancel each other out. So we have x raised to negative 1 at the left side. And we just copy the right side. And we can now write this left side as 1 over x equals the right side of the equation. And solving now for x, we cross multiply. And by the symmetric property of equality, we now have the value of x to be equal to 1 over e raised to the Lambert w of the negative of ln of 8 over 5. And this right side is just a constant that we can compute using Wolfram alpha. But before that, we need to know whether this input is greater than or equal to negative 1 over e, because that's the domain in order to get real solution to the Lambert w function. So the value of negative 1 over e is approximately equal to negative 0 0.367, whereas the value of negative ln of 8 over 5 is approximately negative 0 0.41 5, 9, which is lesser than negative 0.367. So we expect that the result of this would be a complex number. And using now the Wolfram alpha, here is the complex solution to this seemingly simple exponential equation. 
the value is approximately 2.2073 minus 1.1828i. This is the real part and this is the imaginary part. And so this Lambert W function is a very useful tool when dealing with exponential functions. And this has many applications in physics and in number theory. So thank you very much. This is Lando Assistant and we hope to see you again in our next video.